Alright, welcome everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project. I know that I'm not... Oh, uh, what the hell? Why is this... What the hell is going on here? Hmm... What is this? Alright, there you go. Easy. Fixable. Alright, um... Welcome back. And, uh, let's get started on this. So today we're gonna be working on this part over here, and this one, and this one, so we're gonna try to fill it up. Uh, let me just double check my mic because I have been unplugging it and I have just, I, uh, today I just came back from my little, uh, from my, ne uh, from my nephew, so, and I have, yeah, uh, that's good enough. Alright, good. Let's get started. Um, this, this, and, and, Dukabushk. Where is it? Where is it? No, no. Always forget to do this first. Why? I have no idea. Just zoomed in already. Yeah, there you go. That's already there. Um, where is this one? No. No. Ah, there you. There it is. All right. Cool. Easy. Fix that. Kaboom. There you go. All right, let's get started. Sorry about this. Um, only took like one minute or something, but damn me. I am not one of the best uh, organized people to do these things. Oh well, you know what happens. Uh, did I break? Come on, don't break on me now. Oh, you did break on me. And why are you breaking on me? Why are you breaking on me? Tell me. Don't tell me you shut down. Please don't tell me you shut down and could not connect. Otherwise I'm gonna be really pissed right now. Oh my god. Yep! My device is not connected. Alright, hold on a sec. Need to fix something. Apparently the device, you know, the big giant the big giant thing that I'm working on is not connected, and that is not good. And there you go. Now it should be working. Let's double check. Wapcom, please tell me that you're connected. Otherwise I need to do a whole damn new restart, and I am not going to be helpful with that. No, it's not connected, sir. Ah. Uh, one second, please. Uh, I'll be right back in a couple of minutes. So I need to restart my whole damn PC because apparently this little baby here is not connected. All right, uh, be right back. So uh, yeah, um, great, great start. <laughs> Absolutely love. All right, fix this. Check. There you go. Easy as that. Now I need to start up. Great again. Oh, this is uh, lovely. Just great. <laughs> Who doesn't like this? Anyway, you can now see that you know everything is online, so it should be one. It should be no longer worrying. There you go. There is Crater, and now I can just go to full screen over there. Plagala boom, plagala bleem, and we're live. Ah, well, we're already live. But we finally can get started on this, this thing. Holy hell! That was mm, that was not helpful for me, at least. All right. Um. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Did not backfire right there. I totally did not um uh had troubles uh, starting up. <laughs> totally did not have that. Totally did not have that. Yep. Let's get started. So yeah, today we're going to be working on the uh base color of the uh, inside of the wing again. And we're going to be working on it. So yeah. Um I hope I hope you guys are going to be enjoying this, but uh, let's get started. So today was a lovely day, I uh, woke up, 
and then went back uh, to home because you know I had to babysit my nephew. Well, not technically babysit, but you know, always spending time with a person, you know, it's important. So yeah, I uh, I was doing that. So after that, I came back, and then you know, I thought everything was correct at the mundo until you know you realize that you overlook overlooked something, like you know. Uh, hold on, I need to make double check if my voice is correct. Don't want to have any craggy voice. Like, you know, eh, that's good enough. That's great. Alright, so, yeah. The, uh, I, I have sometimes problems with, you know, starting up the string. Well, that happens, you know, everybody can have that happen. But yeah, it is a technical difficulty that can occur, you know, when you are, like, Apparently I needed to restart my PC, and uh, my PC was like, yes, restart, and then I realized that I need to also update my PC soon, so I'm going to be doing that after this, I think, so that, you know, tomorrow we will not have a shutdown in the middle of a fucking streaming, which can happen because of uh, Windows. <laughs> Don't want to have to have that happen middle of the middle of the middle of the stream just crashing in like hey hello I want to update now so yeah let's not uh, let's not do that let's not do that no 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 so yeah um so today we're gonna be just you know casually coloring these feathers in well I'm just doing what I always do and that's just you know drawing coloring. All those related stuff. Also, apparently, I am not a very p good person when it comes to uh, having d uh, having two art styles correctly. Because apparently, if I want to go for a, co a comic art style, like you know, not comedian but comic, uh, I am not that great at it because I'm not good at out outlines. I'm more of a person who just you know draws. Oh, hey, Becca. <laughs> I totally hate it when my PC says, yes, restart, and naturally, what a putter and dogs do you like? They are alive or something. <laughs> yes, they're alive. They they have feelings and all that stuff. And you just, you know, made them very sad. This is why they disconnected. Don't you see? <laughs> Don't you see, Becca? Don't you see? They're alive. They must be perched. <laughs> No, no AI can be left alive. <laughs> but yeah, the the funny thing is actually that uh, the funny thing is that you know the uh, the now I have a brain. <laughs> now I lost my brain. <laughs> God damn it! I lost it. Yep, I lost it. If somebody finds it, please uh, please pr represent it back to me because I had like a real big giant brain fart right there. Like, uh, I totally forgot how to speak. So that's good. Nah. If it is alive, I would have fe felt bad. <laughs> and then I will throw it out of the way. Lovely. Lovely surprise. What did you do last night? I threw out my PC. Why? It was alive. I swear it. <laughs> the invinci the invincible <laughs> the invincible uh the invisible wizard told me so. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. But yes, um the main the main idea the main problem is that uh when I have an I have I have an art cell, you know. This is this is an art cell apparently, you know. This this way of drawing this 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 way of Coloring it, it's an art cell. But if I want to do, you know, the comic art cell, I am not that great at it because, you know, I have not perfected that. Also, it looks way different than my normal art cell, which makes me uncomfortable using it. Because, you know, it's a different art cell. I like to do things with one art cell, not two. There cannot be two, there can only be one, you know. That kind of that, that kind of uh, idea then ro ro arises in my head, nah, develops in my head, and then you know it 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 is like the way of my thinking, and uh, 
yeah, my, my brain says, no, no, you cannot have that. Good day, sir. So, yeah, I never have developed it correctly or did nothing do with it. So, yeah, most of the... Oh, hey, Blue. Nice to see you. So, yeah. Um, it's a thing that happens. I am not that great with new with outline drawing art style because I am never used to it. I could get used to it, but you know, I prefer this art style because it's awesome and but it takes so much time. I mean like ugh. It takes like oblivion amounts of time, but it has a good result. That's the that's the main problem. It has a good result which keeps me like, oh my god, this is so beautiful and then you know, I go back to trying to draw outlines and then it totally sucks. Or, you know, it, it's not my standard. It's not on my standard. So, yeah. Hey, don't don't knock the invisible wizard. <laughs> they got a point sometimes. <laughs> ain't gonna get, ain't gonna abandon you or anything. Loyal folk. Invisible wizards. <laughs> yep. There are invisible wizards that are loyal folk. Yes. Also, uh, yesterday I was totally not, <laughs> I was totally not off, uh, off, uh, off, uh, off times. I totally did not, oh well, not yesterday, the day before that when I was streaming. I was totally not uh, forgetting, you know, the times and all that stuff, so yeah. It happens, you know, when I'm, I'm distracted, things go bad. <laughs> it's like, did you forget to put... Did you forgot that uh, there was a fire blooming in your house? And one, hmm, a fire. No, no, everything will be fine. And then you know, you see your whole house burn down in front of you. It's like, hmm, yes, I forgot about the fire. How can you forget about the fire? I don't know. What's wrong? With you? I have no idea how this is happening. It always happens. It all. It just happens, you know. It's just. It's just the way I think. It's just the way how I do things. It's. It's stupid. It's like I am so distracted that I forget some stuff. Especially when I try to draw. Like when I draw things, like uh, drawing, you know, seeing people draw and then knowing how they do things, and then I'll, I'm thinking like, oh my god, I wish I could do that. And then the son realizes, like, wait a minute, I cannot do this because I don't have the way of the art style they can do it. But I can learn from their ways of doing things so that I can make my own implementation of that thing that they just did. But yeah, I'm definitely jealous of people that know how to do outlines and don't and look, you know, like I am totally a jealous person. Don't get me wrong here. It's like. If I see some people draw anime and they draw it good, you know, I'm very jealous because I will never be able to achieve that if, you know, I'm keeping with this art style. Because this art style is not suited for that. It's not suited for that. It's suited for uh, semi realistic uh, backgrounds and creatures and people. So if I want, if I would draw a knight, I could do that. If I could draw a champion of the uh, of the Holy Grail, you know, I could do that. But I cannot draw anime with it. Oh hell no! This, this art style is not suited for that. It's yeah. I I would not even try to draw uh, try to draw uh, do it. It's uh, it will get really weird really fast. Now really and really uncomfortable. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, if you have set a dozen of different fi fires, then you want to forget one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's normally the problem with a pyromaniac, you know, forgetting that you set a fire. It's like, hmm, I'm probably supposed to put that out, right? Nah, nah, don't need to do that. Why should I put things out when I make some fire, you know? Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Uh, uh, how do you say that news? Yeah, I I remember that there was a news in America or something, and there was this guy just saying uh, near the police uh, near the police, and they were saying like, we need to look f and find this f uh, person who set the fire, and then the guy who did uh, who set uh, who set the fire was like, 
Yeah, I did a pretty good job. <laughs> right in front of the TV where the police were, and the police were like, ah, excuse me, what? <laughs> Turn around and arrested him immediately. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old when people are like this, like retarded. Like, yeah, I said that. I did that. I made that file, and then instantly, like, you did what? And then immediately arrested because they don't know that you know they kind of forgot that they put that fire. <laughs> uh. It's like forgetting your grappling hook while you're trying to climb a mountain. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had a grappling hook. Wait, how do you forget a grappling hook? It's one of the most important things you bring with a with a with your climbing kit. Ah, I had breakfast. I saw a beautiful deer, and then you know I saw some squirrels le uh, going around, and I was like, oh my god, where are they going? And then you know I kind of forgot that uh, I was supposed to be climbing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is fun. This is so much fun. You know, but yeah, my art style is more suited for environmentals and, you know, creatures and people. But I never did people because, you know, I am not good at it. But I know that I can do it. I can draw buildings with it. I can draw horses with it. But, you know, they're all going to be in this realistic point of style of view. Which is different than the normal approach upon things. Also, I need to still figure out how to draw lava. I still need to figure out how to draw... I know how to draw fire. But I need to figure out how to draw lava kind of rocks. Because, you know, everybody likes those things. So, yeah. But, yeah, if I want to go for a toony, toony kind of approach, I can do that. But, you know, don't get me wrong, I might be really sucking in it. There was a pair of burglars in the... Oh wait... Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, there were a pair of burglars in the recent uh, recent who caught because they but the dialed the police and the police heard them and just in describing the entire... <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, that that happens. That happens, you know. You, you never know when people are like doing that kind of stuff. It's like, hmm, maybe you should run. Ah, it will be fine. That T-Rex will definitely not eat us. Why? Because it's a vegetarian. Nicholas only forgot that that a that a T-Rex was definitely not a vegetarian. He kind of forgot about the whole concept that dinosaurs were that dinosaurs were carnivores because he was never told about it in the P in the Greenpeace organization. <laughs> yes. How can you forget that the, the dinosaur is carnivorous? Uh, well, you know, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, they had a beautiful face and uh, I thought like, well, they're definitely not gonna eat me. And then, you know, the, the bad news happened, they ate me. How are you alive then? Well, they forgot most of the important parts. <laughs> worst, worst Jurassic Park ever. It's like, hmm, yes, these people are not afraid of a T-Rex, but they're afraid of a br of a big giant plant eater. Oh my god! <laughs> that would be so fucking hilarious. Just people being afraid of a fucking plant eater. It's like, oh my god, it's a big giant brachiosaurus. Oh my god, it's so sca it's so terrifying. It's so terrifying. Look at its jaws. Look at its teeth. Oh my god, it's gonna eat us. And then, you know, the T-Rex is just gonna be numb. And then nobody's looking at it like, oh, that's a beautiful plant eater right there. Because, you know, T-Rexes are plant eaters right there. Uh Back in the day when I draw, I would uh, uh, exclusively draw hyper-realistic faces. I couldn't even touch anime or cartoon. I was I was awful. I can't even design my own cakes. <laughs> Aww.
that's sad. That uh, that's so sad that you know that that you cannot even draw things on a cake. Oh, that's so sad. You know, cakes cakes supposed to be funny. You know, having big giant smile, well done, and all that stuff. Yeah, when I do my when I do try to do my drawings, you know, I try to do my very best upon you know learning how to do different style, but you know. Different style takes time and effort, and I don't have that. Well, I have it, but it will would take a lot of practice. Only if someone would force me to do it, yes, I would be able to do it. But, you know, my mind is like, no, you need to work on this, because this is also needs to be perfected. And I'm like, yes, technically that would also be needed to perfect. So, yes. I cannot work on two things at once. That's uh, that's not my thing. That's not my my jam. My 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 shalam. Is that a good word? Shalam, wakabam. I think that's a good word. That's a real word. So. Ooh, so much colors. So lovely. All the colors in the world. Woo. <laughs> I just I just designed them in my head though and decorate them straight in <laughs> from the head. I suppose uh uh you are supposed to draw them out first but nah. <laughs> no 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 no. If you if you want to draw something like you know this butterfly, I already know that I need to change up the uh the the beak so I actually need to change the beak. Why? Because the beak is actually too sharp. It's too round and sharp. So yeah, I need to fix that. So probably gonna be fixing that as well. So yeah, I I still need to do some stuff, but hey, you know, I'm just doing this coloring bit because you know, after this I notice that I need to do the beak. So after this I'm gonna be going back to the beak and then fix that part. So that you know we don't mess around with our with our you know progression. Yes, words progression. There you go. So that we don't get everything confused. I think that's the thing. You know, people get confused when you do th multiple things at once, and then you know you cannot overlook the big project. It's like if I want to do outlines, I could, and I might be able to do it, and. I might be able to draw a comical instead of, you know, drawing this hyper realistic, super intense, which is also intense if I would do the comical because, you know, I never did it before and therefore I know that I can do it, but it just takes a lot of time because, you know, I need to figure out how. But, as I always say myself, if I have never done it, I probably will be able to do it. Pfft. Nobody can tell me what to do. I am masterful in doing my work. It just takes time and effort. Like, you know, writing a book. You can write a book. You just need time and effort and just, you know, just relax, work on it on your own on your own terms and then, you know, do it step by step if you need to. And then, you know, eventually you will get a good book because, you know, you're following the guidelines and therefore you make make the story more reliable. And then you know you get a better, better personalities in some per, uh, people in uh, personality involved in it, and then you have like good character designs and good plot designs and good environments and good way of describing things. It's you know it it just takes time. It it really just takes time. I mean it. I uh, you know sometimes I think I can write a book. <laughs> Don't you worry. Everybody has those times. Everybody has those times. Everybody has those times. Trust me. I also had those times. I was like, how the hell would I be able to do this? How the hell would I even describe this scene? How can I make this this scene feel like and be like, you know, this is the big bad evil guy. How can I show the people, the, the reader, that this is a bad, bad evil guy who doesn't give a shit about his people. 
and is a total tyrant and a total bitch. And I did. I successfully did it. It only took me like three or four weeks to even develop a decent, you know, writing, but I did it. And how did I do it? Well, I did it with the guy. I did it with the outlines, and with the outlines, I formed the story, and then you know, work around with it. I think that's important. My problem is that is the finishing part. <laughs> I always give up in the middle, and then started even. <laughs> Speaking of uh, of I writing, I, w I, w I went back and watched Dunn's stream finally. Good job on your story. Thanks, thanks. I hope you really liked it. It's a uh, I took I made a lot of effort in. It's a uh, it's a very you know not personal story, but it is a it's a, it's a lovely story. But it takes so much not not work. But it takes so much uh, energy to make it because you know it took it took me so many things to learn before I would be able, able to you know describe and make the whole damn scene because it's yeah it, it's just difficult to describe scenes when you're not able when you don't or or when when you're not used to making these kind types of scenes because I never have done it and I did it and therefore you know it's uh, it's done. Yeah. Oh yes. That that's one <laughs> that that's one that one was good. <laughs> that one that's twas one was good, yes. It was definitely good. Uh hopefully the hopefully now oh wait, I'm just gonna be rolling a dice. Let's see which one we're gonna get. Ooh, let's see. After all we can do it. Roll the dice Oh wait, we have we need to have two. So I need to do number four. Ooh, interesting. So the next, so the next part of it is gonna be number four. Great. Seems like it would be uh, hard to write write it in your non-native language. Yes, but my native language is even worse. So don't worry about that one. Trust me, uh, my native language is one of the mo uh, is one of the most bullshit uh, has the most bullshit rules when it comes to writing. Because um, uh, the grammar in it is actually really bad. It is not simplified at all, like in Germany and in English writing. So yeah, it's uh, it's a nasty little con uh, it's a na nasty little construct. The main the main problem that you need to deal with is actually that the uh, how do you say um, the words that you're using are differently pronounced, differently placed, and therefore they are not enjoyable to read. Because I have like dyslexia, it means that I also have lots of problems making sure that I put the right words and the right way of how you write them down. And that doesn't uh, that doesn't come easy when it comes to Dutch instead of English. English is way easier for the grammatica instead of, you know, the Dutch. The Dutch has more rules applied to it. Which makes it a lot more difficult. And I mean like a lot. Lots of lots. So yeah. I am better off doing it English, trust me. Like I type like <laughs> like Russia Twat. I'm so <laughs> major major respect for writing English. It's because people can speak English, but English people literally can't <laughs> compare, <laughs> comprehend Dutch. Heck, what is these terms? Double Dutch. <laughs> yes. Uh, double up. D uh, a double. 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 It's uh, it's nasty. Also, it has like these little sentences, like you know. Um, I like, and you know, I liked. So you have I like, and I have uh, I liked. Well, this one is more prop, and he she liked, liked it. So he she liked it, I liked it. Um, I did like, I did like it. You know that that those things, and then you have it in Dutch. It's way more complicated because it's like he, hey, vindt, het leuk. So 
he liked it. Hey, vindt het leuk. And then, you know, there is also the one that has, like, pastimes, so, hij vond het leuk. So, you need to be wary about, about that. And then you have also words like, um, hmm, let's see which one it is. Um, um, there is one, there is one, hold on. I need to find, figure out which one those are. Like English words, like barbecue. So, when somebody barbecues, uh, when somebody barbecue, you know, he, she barbecued, uh, the, the meatloaf, you know, whatever. I don't care if it is not able to, you know, be barbecued, but it depends on the sentence, like, he, she barbecued it, uh, the food yesterday. Well, you know, when I say that, it's like with only, you know, which, which kind of tea it is. So it's like one, it's one tea in it. So the word, the, the tea, you, you, you hear the tea, you write the tea. In Dutch, however, it depends on how you're gonna be saying it. If it, if it is with a he or she in the in the in the present time, you're gonna be in a prob problem because if it is an English word, you, then you can use the then you can use the simplified version. But if it is a Dutch word, however, you actually need to write it down with a d t or a double t or a double d. Yeah, that's uh, that's some nasty little surprises right there. It's like Talking about someone's bra, with you know bra sizes, like yeah, what what did you what did you need what did you need to have? Well, this time I need a double D, and next time I need a double T for it. And then you know you have these big giant boob boob, uh, boob bras, and then you have these tiny boob bras. So you know, easy comparison. It's like having XXL shorts and then non XXL shorts. Uh, I'm just giving good examples right here. Totally not, you know. Totally not bad examples, I would say. Easy, easy examples right there. Hack. <laughs> so yeah. I am happy to write it down in English, because that way you guys can understand it, and that way I can understand it. <laughs> Conversation about grammar. That, <laughs> that took a strange... <laughs> yeah, I was looking for the right words to, you know, describe it that would be relatable enough. To understand, like, to make it, to make, to make a good sentence, a good relatable sentence, like everybody knows about bras. Come on, everybody knows them. Instead of you know, if I would talk about food sizes, nah, actually, food sizes would have been better, probably. <laughs> Comparison you could have made, <laughs> you would. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I should have gone for food sizes. That would be way easier. <laughs> that would have way be way. <laughs> I guess you know, open th open thinking is like not a very smart idea to do. I should definitely use a different. I should have definitely used a different uh, different wordings there. But hey, uh, you know, yeah. I needed to find something simple for me to explain to myself. Like ah, yes, this is simple for me. Probably simple enough for all the people. <laughs> so yeah, I had a Dutch-speaking friend, uh, friend uh, and had a Afri uh, Afrikaans-speaking friend uh, at the uni. Uh, remember, there was a lot of conversation about grammar. Yeah, exactly. Afri uh, Afrikaans and uh, uh, Zuid Afrikaans and uh, Dutch are alike, but they're not the same. They have way different grammar. They have way different. A lot of words don't even mean the same. A lot of words do, but other things not. So, because, you know, uh, I would say most of the words in the Dutch, uh, the Dutch words are actually having like words that are literally translations, like mm, airplane. There you go. So an airplane is a is a plane in the air, right? So what 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 do you think that it is like? What do you think that's going to be called in Dutch? Well, I will give you a hint. It ends with teug. 
Well, what does teug mean? Well, it means it's a it's a short term for vaartuig. That means uh, vehicle. All right. That means the word vehicle. That way, if you're going for if you're going for a flying vehicle, how are you gonna be taught? How how are you gonna spell a flying vehicle? Well, an vliegtuig. Ah, there you go. There you have your there you have your explanation why it's called a vliegtuig because it's a flying vehicle. Oh my God! And what do you call then a car? Well, a car is actually a, is actually a word that has been transferred from the uh, from the Ger uh, from the German side of you know the Dutch, which means auto. Like really, the Dutch word auto auto means the same thing. So that's why it's that. So yeah, a lot of words are borrowed, like some of the French words, some of the English words are borrowed, like barbecue, so yeah, croissant, you know, those things are French. And then you have also Dutch, German words like auto, uh, 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 let's see, what, which one am I, school, schule, so yeah. It's it's gets it gets really close to most things like school, schule, school. So you have like three words. One is in English, one is in German, and one is in Dutch, and both mean all the same. And both you write them different, except you don't, because schule you you write different, but school and school actually you write the same, like. School, right? You you write it like S C H O O L, right? That's how you write school, right? Probably, it's like cool. So yeah, it should be written like that. So yeah, the 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 Dutch people actually wrote the same way, uh, wrote it down the same way, but they have a different pronunciation. So, um, but bef uh. I think it's the same thing, probably. Yes. Like, uh, um, uh, a movie theater. There you go, movie theater. So, a movie theater, it's like a place where you can watch movies, right? In a theater where you can watch movies. Well, cor that's correct. Technically, the, the Dutch word should have mean the same. So it's like movie theater, but because we already had the word theater in it, so we had already the word theater by standard means, because we already have that word theater, but we don't want to, you know, confuse ourselves with the wordings, we actually use a different word, which means bioscope, bioscope, because we're using a biofragma. A biofragma is the thing that you is old used for, you know, watching movies. Old-fashioned movies have been watched with a biofragma. So that's where the bioscope comes from. So it's like a big giant telescope that's using a biofragma. Therefore, the word bioscope. You could have guessed it, but it's far-fetched. Yes, true, true. It's far-fetched in that part. So yeah, the the Dutch the Dutch don't like to use the same word for the same things. No, they don't. They have a lot, but like for instance, the grammar on uh, words that have been a combination of two words, and they can only be one. Like you know, a queen, for instance. There is only one queen. There is only one king. So if you combine words that are you know, uh like queen soup that's actually a thing in 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 the Netherlands it's called koninginnen soup um you you spell it way different yeah i'm glad we we stuck with the word movie in front of uh, in front of the in in front of the theater much simpler yeah simpler times simpler means yes but yeah the koninginnen soup so Technically, you would say that it's like if you go for the wording koninginnen, that would be wrong, because there's only one queen, 
we only can say it once. So it's a konihin ne soup. So it's only so you have konihin and then e uh, and then you have soup behind it instead of konihin nun soup because there is only one queen. Same goes for moonlight. There is only one moon. So how would you spell it with only one moon in it? So man ne schijn instead of manen schijn because there are not multiple moons. So yeah, it's a uh, it gets sometimes a little bit difficult, but I think it is just fine technically. Technically, it's a it's a it has some difficult wordings. Let's put it that way. So if there is only one, you can only spell it once, and you cannot put multiple wordings in it. So yeah, I mean in the UK we always call them cinemas. Uh, we always find it weird when people call them theaters, but there are multiple moons. Yes. There might be multiple moons, but we Dutch believe only in the one moon that uh, comes around the earth. So that's why we're calling it, instead of moon's light, so instead of moon's light, we're calling it moonlight. See, that explains a lot more. So yes, because we, there is only one, we can only say it once instead of we're having multiple of them. But for instance, if you're going for... Uh, if you're going for things that are multiple and you want to make them combine them with another worth, then yes, like tomato. All right, so you have a tomato, but you can have multiple tomatoes. You know they are not unique, so you can say tomato, tomatoes soup in our language. So it means tomaten soup instead of tomate soup. See, it uh, it's a uh, it's a little bit difficult, but yeah, it has a lot of problems with wordings. The DTs are a thing. The uh, the double the double uh, the double pronunciations are a thing. The uh, don't get me started on the vocabularies on those. But yeah, then no, I am not a good person when it came to Dutch. Trust me, I had like a tree for it in the exams the first time. Around so in the end exams I had a tree. That's how terrible I was on this. Meanwhile, one sheep, two sheep, three sheep. Yes, but we just say, but that's because you're te that's because you're telling how many sheep there are. If it would have if it would have said you know, der zijn there are three sheep, then but with our language we would say there are. Uh, der zijn, er zijn, er zijn drie schapen instead of schaap. Lots of sheep. Lots, veel schapen. You know? Yes, we, we, we say it like that. Instead of one, one sheep, één schaap, we say, and you say two sheep, then it zijn twee schapen. Huh? Schapen in plaats van sheep. In plaats van schaap. Uh -huh. Because there are multiple sheep. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bit confusing sometimes with the grammar of the English as well. So yeah, don't don't ever try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. I have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> also, uh, yesterday I have been watching some. Uh, I have I have been watching uh, a series. All right. And today I actually was continuing watching the series when I was w waking up, and uh, I figured out like because my nephew actually wanted to see the series, and because the series is not really scary for him, like how many sheep are in the field? How? Uh, who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> I mean, I have a pull up. I have we have polar rules too, and uh, are. Uh, and is, for example, there is a sheep, there are sheeps, yes. 
But yeah, I have been watching. Uh, I have watching a uh, two thousand, uh, two thousand, uh, year two thousand, year two thousand, uh, Nickelodeon series. Uh, yesterday, uh, at night, and then you know today my nephew was waking up and he wanted to watch it as well, and I didn't mind because it was actually a children's show. But the good news was I was actually looking in the uh, translations of you know Dutch and English so from English to Dutch and then I actually watched the translate uh which is break break sounds <laughs> yeah but uh, so we uh, I have been watching it and then after uh after some time then my nephew was complaining like hey why didn't you put it on normal speaking and I was saying like what why, why, why would I put it on Dutch? It's terrible. And then you know, he asked me with a pretty please, and I was saying like, "Ah, oh, fine, sure." So I set the translation to uh, to Dutch, and I put it in Dutch speaking. All right. So we had Dutch speaking and Dutch talking. But the funny thing was actually, what was actually described in the uh, translation was actually wrong compared to the speaking so I was like wait hold on a second so what they're saying is not correct towards what they're saying on the English so technically they translate the English talking to Dutch and when they did the voiceovers they didn't use the actual translation that has been given to them by the translation so it is like really confusing to see different words and different sentences being spoken out even though you know you have the same language it's because the translations are wrongfully done you know therefore you have like a really uh, uh, spook stuff you have like a really spooky vision and I was like nope I'm not gonna be watching this good day I switched back to Dutch translation I switched back to tr uh, Dutch subtitles and uh, English speaking because holy hell, it was getting confused really fast. Um, true English, uh, <laughs> true English laughs in the in the face of rules. I before A, except oh, uh, after C, ten years old, explained science. I could uh, sh just sound it out. Connolly, <laughs> just sound, <laughs> just sounded out, Colonel, Colonel, ugh, just sounded out, Colonel. General Jelly Jiggler at your service. Ugh. That is awesome. That's an awesome series, by the way. Trust me upon this. So yeah, um, I have been doing lovely today. And uh, I'm doing great, actually. So yeah, we totally. I did totally not uh, ruin the first uh, the first thing that I did to, uh, today. That was actually live streaming. <laughs> I realize I came to the realization that I should try to invest in my cartoony style as well. But you know, I'm not good at it. But I will try eventually. But I would just want to have this. So I think I will just invest in my cartoony style when I'm doing the uh, live streams. So yeah, uh, blue. Uh, I think I think I will do that. I will I will try my very best to do outlines and just cartoony style upon you know the live streams. Of course, it's not a it, of course it's not going to be a representation then of my other style, but it is a style that I am using. So I don't know if it counts, but I try to do my very best upon getting that style at least. Laughs in British pronouncing of Lieutenant ah, 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 ah. Lieutenant It's so lovely Yes Captain We are doing our greatest job here with our lieutenant <laughs> Wait how do you do pronounce wait how do you pronounce it? Lieutenant <laughs> Left, <laughs> left, <-tinant. laughs> 
exercise it. Uh, excited to see it. All right, I will do. It's like with the. It's like the. I think it's gonna be like this. Uh, hold on. I will just load it up. So yeah, like the goblin. I think that's the. I think that's the art style I'm gonna be aiming for. Like that, or I should be trying to do like anime. Maybe depends. Probably should be doing it. Yeah, probably should do it. Anyway, that's gonna be lovely. Le left, left tenant. Why would you speak it out like a lieutenant? Where is the left in it? <laughs> where is the left in it? Where, where did you left it? Yeah, legit. Where did you, where did the F come from, right? Yeah. Where did the bloody damn left come from, lieutenant? It's lieutenant now. Yeah, lieutenant, lieutenant, jail ball. Yeah, lieutenant Charlie. Okay. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's just utter madness. That's just utter, utter bollocks right there. There you go. Utter bollocks. It's utter bollocks, mate. Utter bollocks. Surely. Surely that the lieutenant did not actually come across the sea there. I didn't know, but uh, yes. He apparently did. <laughs> I mean, I have heard British people say it, but evil, evil ways uh, assumed it, but different military position. <laughs> hmm. Nope. Same. <laughs> nope. Same one. <laughs> Maybe for no reasons. Can. You first been used to the American spell. <laughs> Generally. I would love to see it, you know, Star Wars, and then you have this lieutenant, and it's, everybody's like, what? Who? 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 Yes, the lieutenant, you know, the lieutenant, right there. You, you go there, and then fix fix whatever you were doing. Go to the lieutenant. <laughs> go to the lieutenant. <laughs> Excuse me, it's lieutenant. No, it's lieutenant now. It's all British. Glory for the British Empire. All the tea you can eat. Oh, oh. Lovely. Well, technically, you should drink it instead of drink, eat it, but uh, you know, I'm not complaining. It's you who's complaining. Not me. Nope. Same one here. Maybe uh, the pronunciation came first, and uh, then uh, we used uh, the American spelling. Oh! The American spelling. Damn Americans. They ruined everything. They even drank coffee. Oh, shame on those. Shame on those Brit and shame on those Brits. They always drink their tea like they do with their wives. Very problematic. Anyways. Uh now I'm really silly, come on. You made me into a silly mood, that's uh, that's good, but uh, still, holy hell, you made me into a silly mood. <laughs> Yeah, don't eat tea. <laughs> no shit. No shit, Sherlock. Never eat tea. That that's bad. That that's that, that's barbaric. Utterly barbaric right there. Absolutely barbaric. Absolutely. Uh now I'm in a silly mood. Can focus on all focus. Oh well. Next American tea based act of liberation. <laughs> Buy the tea back in <laughs> That's utter heresy right there. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I think it's uh, I'll take I'll think uh a bit. I think it's time to uh leave it right here. Probably just zooming out now. Just to see how far we got. Pretty sure these British tea. Uh, <laughs> we have loop loopiats, loopiats. All right, cool. All right, that's that looks lovely. Nice, I like it. All right, cool. Saving this bad boy. 
So, um, yes, yes. Um, so today, uh, we have done a lot, I think. And then I hope I'll see you all next time. Uh, it has been lovely with you guys, and uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. And uh, until then, I wish you all a lovely day, and I'll see you all until uh, the next time then. Bye!